the uh, it got warm again. Something relaxing about the warmth, you know, is that it makes you take a few extra moments to think about what you're doing because if you rush out into the sunlight and don't prepare, then you wind up dehydrated. <laughs> Did you know that that applies scripturally too? Is that if you don't prepare for your day, if you're not ready for what's going to happen, that you'll get dehydrated spiritually from using up all that God has given you for that day and that portion and measure of faith that He's prepared you, that you may wind up being into things you're not completely prepared to do with the fullness of what God wants you to do <laughs> his way instead of your way wow did that come out the right way <laughs> let's start our day <laughs> uh. <laughs> and do whatever God says <laughs> wow that all worked together too bad I didn't read that ahead of time it almost sounds contrived so that the righteous and just requirement of the law might be fully met in us who live and move not in the ways of the flesh, but in the ways of the spirit. Our lives governed not by the standards and according to the dictates of the flesh, but controlled by the Holy Spirit. Romans 8.4 In him we live and move and have our being. Acts 17.28 God is everything. Talk to him all day long, every time you need to make a decision, or overcome anything negative. Or anything at all, for that matter. <laughs> Whatever he says to do, do it. If he says don't do it, don't do it. You don't belong to yourself. You belong to God. Religious teaching tries to predetermine what God wants from you. But he will write on your heart what is good and what is bad for you to do. He will speak to your inner conscience and keep you safe as long as you pay attention to his voice and do what he tells you to do. Throughout the day today, occasionally, stop what you are doing and ask him if there is anything he wants to say to you. That fits for me today because I've been so busy doing everything that I wanted to do, both in ministry and in household and in life and in thought <laughs> maybe not in shaving yet but we're getting there but there's always things that we want to do but do we ask God whether we should do you know it's the priority and the realization that if we say we walk in the spirit then we ought to if we could walk in the spirit then shouldn't we try in other words all we need to do is ask God and he said he would speak we're told to seek God and we would find him. We were told that if we knock on a door that it would be opened. Well, you know, you can either spiritualize that or take it literal, but for me, it's all literal. I just gotta ask. So, I fully expect God to speak to me each and every day. That as obvious as the wind is blowing through the trees, as the flowers bloom on these vines, as my nose is on my face. That to me is what God needs to be in the reality of my life and living in me, is that I need to be aware and constantly caring for that spiritual part of my life that is the predominant one that it should be, and not the things around me that I see that seem to always try to pull me from one side to the other or make me do the things that I haven't taken the time to stop, look, listen and then do according to what he says to do that is a devotional life that is what our emotions are meant to cause us to do with our feelings and our emotions and all of our being is to turn it to god first and then let him direct it as he chooses otherwise guess who loses <laughs> we do